So Grant's giving me a little lesson on fiberglassing because we are here the first day after we fiber, or I fiberglassed and um, everything looks pretty good, right? Except for the fact that I fiberglassed yep. the rudder to our boat. <laughs> that was the only bad thing. I'll show you. Ever wonder what it was like to just be free? To adventure and explore without the white picket fence, the eight to five, and to throw away the golden handcuffs? Well, we did. So we bought a 1980 Downeaster Cutter that had been neglected for decades, sailed her up north, rounding Point Conception, and making her way to her new home port on the central coast of California. We've been fixing her up and prepping her for blue water cruising ever since. Follow along our journey, leave us a comment, and if you like, press subscribe and hit that notification bell. With new episodes every Thursday, tune in weekly to watch our adventures towards hopefully becoming full-time cruisers. Thanks for watching. Oh, that's not that bad. Well, yeah, you can see I that up. you didn't spend any time prepping this before. Mm. So like there was still paint behind it, which is probably one reason why it didn't stay. And it didn't, you didn't scuff up the surface. So I received so. an F on the aperture. No, the it's glass. fine. <laughs> Well, I think what I'll do is I'll just cut this off and see how there's paint, bottom paint yeah. underneath it. It's going to just, uh -oh. as, I, as I sand, this patch will just go and then you'll see the paint underneath it and it's just not going to work. Yeah. Okay. Because we will fix that. Maybe the, I did the best red, I could. Maybe the red barrier coat we could have put glass over, but like this paint, you know, doesn't, yeah. it's not as adhered as much as you would. Okay. Made a couple mess ups. In last week's episode, I spent a lot of time glassing the keel void fill holes that Grant drilled through the boat. Glassing is new to me, and I was proud of the progress I made on the boat, albeit some mistakes that happened, but progress is progress. This week's episode is loaded with all kinds of work, sanding, fairing, glassing, and more. All work towards preparing us for finally painting Mundial. We're going to uh, sand out all the little patches that Noelle put on. They look pretty good. They're a little bit more proud than the surface of the gel coat, so there's gonna be a little bit more work getting them sanded flat, but that's all right. They're all patched up. And then hopefully we'll get some fairing compound on and sand that all out and we'll be good to go. I read up on fiberglassing and epoxy just to feel confident during my work on the boat in the prior week, absent of Grant. I learned as part of its curing process, epoxy releases a wax-like film to the surface called amine blush, and this blush must be removed before applying any other products to the surface. Acetone does not remove the blush, and neither does sanding, so we decided to wash and scrub the boat down with water and a mild soap just to be safe. Fighting and conquering right now, and Grant's mixing up the uh, fairing. It's total fair by total boat, right? And so he's mixing that up on a little like acrylic platter that we found at our neighbor's area. And then I'm on the other side and I'm finishing up some glassing that I didn't really do that well last weekend. So hopefully that'll be the last of our fiberglassing. No, we'll probably have one more thing to fiberglass. You got to fiberglass after we get re-stood. Oh yeah. Well, besides getting re-stood, this is like it. We fiberglass and then fairing today and then hopefully starting paint soon. Grant to hop in the car. He is inside. He has been researching all morning about paint and whether we should get hard or ablated. I'm really grateful he's researching because I have no idea. Um, really, that's all I can say on the subject. We're torn between the two and we only have like three or four options of paint to choose from because we have to buy the paint from the boatyard. Oh, there, here he comes. <laughs> Do we decide between... What? Do we decide between hard or ablated yet? Ablative? Um, 
Yeah, bladed. <laughs> That's what I was saying. The it, it's such a toss up. I think I'm I'm leaning towards ablative. Um, it does stink that the only way to go to hard afterwards is to sand it completely off. Um, but we can More make sanding. that choice in maybe two or three years. All right, so we're going to Ryan's to pick up more epoxy, right? Yeah. Um, or their best friend. And then to the boatyard. Look at that paint, paint job on that boat. Somebody did a good tape <laughs> job. Hey, that was my first go at, at painting a boat. Okay, really exciting day today. We are gonna do something we've never done before. Never. And that is sand. <laughs> or sanding. Uh, yeah, so we did fairing yesterday and it's all dry today. So we're gonna um, sand that off. And sand then also and... sand the fiberglass that we finished yesterday. And maybe we'll get to cleaning up the beds for the uh, backing blocks clean up the residual adhesive that was there and get it ready to epoxy our fiberglass packing blocks that we got. Oh, you want me to explain why I'm wearing an ace bandage? Uh, I got a tattoo. <laughs> uh, and so I'm not supposed to expose it to the sun. Don't worry, I'm not hurt. But um, yeah, it's pretty bright in Avalanche today, so I'm wearing a hat and my ace bandage for the, sun, for the tattoo. But yeah, another day of sanding and hopefully getting the backing blocks set up. And maybe we'll get ready to paint. Maybe get ready to paint. I started out with using the Dremel to sand all the little nooks and crannies of the rudder. And then it was joining Grant in sanding the fairing. frustrated I was sanding and I don't know if I sanded too much and like wasn't paying attention for a second or if my fiberglassing from yesterday wasn't good because this happened like another little hole so can I show you something sorry what? just don't know if I need to fiberglass it again Look what happened. On the corner of the aperture? Yep, I got through it. Was it my sanding? Yep. Uh, we also just found another little crack filled with Bondo, so we're gonna crack it open and see what it is. No, yeah, it's just fairing. Just fairing? Yeah, you can see like... Oh, this okay. Is gel. Feel it. Feel they the made the fairing thing. that thick? See how the gel oh, slippery? Yeah. It's just a bad fairing job. So, sand. you can just sand it. Okay. Just, if it's got a, you know, just try to make it smooth. We don't really need any of this. Okay. We're taking a break from sanding the fairing from yesterday and just walked over to this little like private beach next to the pier and it's pretty nice to just be so close to the water and today is beautiful look <laughs> oh my gosh ash is going so far for that ball <laughs> pretty good lunch break today uh i'm itchy all over which is no fault but mine i admit it <laughs> first to admit it and it's just nice to take a break and enjoy the sun for a bit oh, come here. Neck barnacles. These are like 50 bucks a pound in Europe. I could get him to peel. 
We, we had these on our first international trip together. Actually, one of our only besides Mexico. In Spain, we had a whole bunch and they're really good. And you can find them here in California on the rocks. Are you sure you can get these rocks? Yeah. We ate them in Spain rock, remember? Were they raw or like... Hang on. Oh! No. <laughs> Is it good? A little gritty. Huh. Just like that. We got lunch. Harvested. <laughs> Amber, Ash. We were all a bit tired from the sanding, and so we decided to switch it up and work on the inside, preparing the backing plates for the new seacocks. You, you can see there's some um, residual like 5200 or whatever that's around where the through holes were. Okay. Just in like a circle around here. Mm -hmm. We've decided to take a break from sanding. We talked about it, it's basically done. Do you know how many times I've said it's basically done? It's just like for my own ego, I'm not going to say that anymore. <laughs> no. Um, we finished up our lunch break and decided to get started on prepping the backing plate area of the through hole. And so I'm gonna clean up what used to be the backing plate of our old through holes. And it just needs some like sanding. And there's the peanut butter epoxy mixture that I poked in through the old through hole bolts holes. So I'm going to get started on cleaning that up and then hopefully we'll be ready to epoxy the backing plates in place soon. There's the old backing plate. I guess I can remove this. Oh. Okay, two prepped. Two down, three to go. We decided to remove the grounding plates next. Uh, I think some of the bolt is in there. Oh God, so this sheared off, but I think some of the bolt is left in it. together and it sheared off. That is nuts. <sighs> the mixture's fully cupped. All right, I got it out. And we are, well, supplies everywhere. We are calling that a wrap. Thank you guys for watching and for following along on our journey. Press subscribe and the notification bell below if you want to hear about our updates and see when we post videos. And see you next week where we will hopefully begin painting. With Thanksgiving today, I wanted to say more than just thanks for watching. As I lie in bed sick with COVID today, sorry about my voice, editing this, I won't get to see anyone or cook food with family or friends, so I've had a lot of time to think. Something I've always been grateful for, time. It's the only constant thing in nature, the changing time and consequently seasons. This season, I'm especially grateful to be getting older, to becoming more comfortable in my own skin, to finding what really makes me tick, to having more and more confidence to go after my dreams. And I'm grateful for you all, who I may know or may not, who are strangers or who I hold dear to my heart. I'm grateful that you take time to watch our efforts and root them on like they're your own. I'm grateful for this platform, a small porthole into each other's lives. As weird as it may be sometimes, I've begun to know strangers from just watching their channel, and conversely, you with ours. It all makes the world feel a little more good. So, thank you. Okay, let's see you eat one. No, no. <laughs> Can you eat them raw? Oh, I did get it, actually. You really gonna make me do this? <laughs> yeah, you gotta peel it, the like neck part. Eat the inside. Babe, I don't want to know. Can we just collect them and go and cook them? You don't cook them, you eat them raw. It's here, pretty good. Here, I'll do it. No! Yeah, you are. She's cold. <laughs> Didn't you say earlier she's not a baby? <laughs>
to identify as a dog. But my mom says, he's just a little baby. <laughs> what, what should I be doing right now? Let's get to it. The camera's this over here, hon. Okay. It's right there. <laughs>